Okay, hello everybody. I'm Megami, and I have pleasure of opening the Dare Patron with the run of Grimdown, Forgotten Gods. Grimdown is, in my opinion, the best Diablo-style game currently available. So, without further ado, let's make a new character. And let's get started. Into cutscene, but we skip it, and we're gonna start when I start moving, so let's go. First, let's adjust the loot filter, get rid of useless junk. Well, I don't really need to get rid of it, but I just don't like it. And pick this note through the wall. There are notes which provide environmental lore and also a lot of experience. Well, early on, a lot, this is almost next level. And in the first area, there are hidden weapons of big power. Well, big power early on. So we're gonna go to this house and grab electric to hand sword. I just need to kill a couple guys. And we level up. As my class, I'm gonna pick Necromancer. Because Race Skeletons is very powerful early on. Yep. And it's random what type of skeletons I get. I got one crossbowman, which is good. There's this mini boss. I mostly kill him because he provides a lot of experience, like all hero monsters do. So now we proceed. If I were to talk with a captain of uh, resistance, he would tell me that uh, I, am, I have to investigate this place and find why zombies are raising. We will find a necromancer that we'll have to defeat. First, we're gonna have to go to the cave. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go destroy those crystals as they provide shards. They're gonna be very useful later. Also, when I invest points into my summon skill, all existing summons get these points, so I need to be wa wary about it. And because skeletons, mm, you get random types, sometimes it's worth to keep them at lower level, just because you get good ones. Right now, I have uh, one crossbowman, two warriors, which isn't too bad, but there can be better. It's early on, however, it's good enough. Here's the Necromancer, Kaizok the Reanimator. Just focus fire on him. Okay, level 8 Skellingtons. And here's a shrine. You can find many of them throughout the this place. They give uh, devotion points, which we can use to get new powers. Don't be putting them right away because, well. Early on, they don't give that much power. Okay, we could now go report to the captain. He will tell us to go and secure the waypoint in Blairwitch Village, which is to the north from here. But we can just go there unprompted. Now here, I want to look for scrap. And because this is a marathon run, I'm gonna do a side quest and kill this guy. Normally you don't need to kill him, but... For defeating him you get extra scrap, which can be useful as we need 5 scrap to complete one of the mandatory quests. So, as all hero monsters, he gives good experience. Ooh, I got one fire mage, which is good. Also to warriors, which are worthless. Okay, let's destroy this crate. Usually you can find a lot of scrap in uh, this old dump, but got unlucky. Got nothing. Okay, there's a lot of slips here, which provide good experience. I can pillage the camp while my skeletons take care of them. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna resummon hope for better. Mm, two warriors and crossbowmen. That's not too better. There's a portal we can secure, but it's not needed. Just gonna move on. Okay, I really would like to have more skeleton specialists. Here's another optional guy. It's also for this quest too. Wow, now I have three warriors. It's terrible. Now they're all dead. Also from my corpse here I got Carver's Conjuring Bone, which provides bonuses to pets. It's gonna be useful. Mage and two warriors. Yeah. Now I have to wait because my skeletons are on cooldown and I just unsummoned them. Ooh, crossbowman and a mage. Good. And here's another optional guy, Milton Hart. However, he provides item that's gonna be very crucial to my build later on. Huh? Milton? W what are you doing? He normally charges at you like crazy, but now he's... Very weird. Anyway, Milton's cask. I need a higher level and more physic, but I'm gonna get that later. Okay, now, even though I haven't maxed my skeleton skill, I'm gonna not put any points more in it. And that's because at level 10, so in almost 3 levels, I'm gonna be able to select second mastery. And I wanna put a lot of points right away there. Accidentally alt tabbed. Okay, second shrine here. This one is corrupted, that means we have to destroy the slips guarding it. Yeah. And here's the first guy for the side quest. Megan the Withered. Kill I have a skeleton mage, so I'm gonna quickly get rid of him. Well, he would if he didn't get distracted by other guys. Okay, I need to pick for the hands. Not even that good. I just will use them for now. a flooded passage, we can skip it by repairing this bridge but that costs a lot of money and scrap, neither of which we can afford at this point. Well, actually not that much, but more than we have. Also, I keep forgetting, but in a recent patch 1.2 they added this short hop uh, dodge. And I keep forgetting about it, That's but obviously it allows you to go faster. I should be using it. That's one of the things I keep forgetting, because I'm not used to. This game originally came out long, many years ago, and it didn't have that. Frankly, it wasn't a standard in the genre to have uh, active dodge at that point. I'm gonna put a couple points. Oh, we don't even have enough. I'm not gonna put them any points. Okay, here's another corrupted shrine. <coughs> Let's 
Excuse me. Okay, do I have any boots with movement speed? Answer is no. Okay, now the boss, Shambler. And while my skeletons do the work, I'll pick a Jackal constellation which was gonna make me faster. Lot of Mage offers good single target, but I can't carry doesn't always use what I want. And we got Shambler's Heart. Uh, the game features so-called uh, monster infrequence, as pseudo-unique items dropped by its particular monsters. For example, from Milton Heart earlier we got his cask, and from the Shambler we got his heart. I keep forgetting about jumping. Okay, level 9, almost level 10, very good. I got some shields, that's good. Also, don't adjust your streams. It's quite normal that the game lags. It is not known to me why, but it tends to lag sometimes, just... Uh, the same thing happened in the previous game on this engine, Titan Quest. It also has sudden lag spikes for no reasons from time to time. And it's funny because it's offline game, not online. Okay, here are another two optional bosses that I'm gonna deal with. I think I'm gonna actually open a waypoint here. Just in case I get wrecked. Oh. My skeletons got wrecked. First guy is almost dead. Oh. I can't do that yet. Okay, be careful. My inventory. Can't carry it. Okay, the main reason why I actually killed him is because of this mutant bludgeon. It's a very useful weapon. And also, uh, killing them is a side quest that gives extra scrap, which is useful. Ooh, and now I got good spawns. I got two de mm, death knights, which are some of the best skeletons you can have. I have mortar and also aura dealing damage, that's very good. It wasn't the best fight with these two, but we got him. Okay, now we have to secure this. Okay. And now we pick our second master, which is gonna be Soldier. And that's because his charge skill Blitz is very strong. And it's also a movement ability, allowing us to do... Oh wait, wait, we don't get that in this run. Alright. Uh. Here's a barricade, those are actually spawning randomly and can't block some passages. I just default it and forget about it. Okay, so now I want to switch to shield. 
shield actually has its own value for... Oh, right, I need a weapon. Uh, let's go this way, I'm being. Uh, Blitz has a nice thing that it adds damage of a shield to the charge. I can use it to deal even more damage. This will be especially important once I can wear Milton's cask. It's because it provides bonuses to shield mastery of soldier. Points into blitz. Yeah, okay. Now we're in the warden's cellar, and here at the end, we'll find guy responsible for all this mess Warden Krieg. Just have to go through this long cellar. Here's a totem, it can summon a lot of hard enemies to give you a lot of loot, but we don't need that. Okay, let's see. Is passage open here? Yes, it is. Let's go. Okay, blocked here as usual. Now we have to go around. Little timeless, but I got to expect that one. Okay, almost level twelve. Oops, crap, gimme. That skill's not ready. Hey. Now boot training, uh, more points in bullets, and I put on cask. Which also provides reduced cooldown to blitz so we can charge even more frequently. Do I have any better weapon that I can use right away? Seem like it. Okay, I'm gonna need a bunch of crystals. I have 10. Let's go 11. Uh, that should be enough. Okay. Now we're gonna do a little skip. Shadow Strike skip because originally it was used with Nightblades. Shadow Strike. Strike. Weapon. So what we're gonna do is charge to this crystal, pause, and warp to other place. And now we're just zooming through the last part. Uh, this charge is very finicky on how it works. I can't just use it anywhere. Oh. And we moved straight to the boss room. Okay. Looks like my skeleton is gonna be dead soon, but not before. Going Krig. Wow, that was really loud for some reason. Okay, Krig has now a couple crazy attacks here. Crossbow, it can shotgun you at close range. This first wave and the stomp. Crossbow is dangerous because it can shotgun. I could just, for example, do charge as he raises his 
crossbow arm. We gotta be careful. But he usually crossbows after releasing the force wave. Shield. I need uh, more physics. Is it? There we go. I can't carry no. anymore. Thank you. Yeah. I can't carry anymore. This. Hey. The dead. I need some time. Uh, Xen, uh, this is. Uh, well, what basically we do is we start as Necromancer because skeletons are very strong and then we switch to Blitz because just very strong skill. So now I need to scrap five pieces to... Uh, what's its name? To fix the pump, but then it turns out that water is still a poison, so we gotta go to the source and clean it up. And do some long charges like this one. Also, one interesting thing about this game: the cooldown uh, recovers while you're charging, so long dashes have actually shorter cooldown. to kill this guy in the meantime I'll also pick uh, I'll pick the wheel of string now we just got a report but also we're gonna do this second quest here bringing four crystals to get extra skill point and while we're here let's pick sailor's guide this gives us even more movement speed level 4 are those bills? Well hey. What do you want? We can reveal that that guy is a traitor, but uh, Good. I don't feel like fighting him. Hey, so now we report to John Bourbon that we did everything, and that's Act One. Now with the main quest line in Act 1, this guy appears. And this brings us to the Forgotten Gods. The Act 7 DLC expansion, so... so, so you, the th go. In this run, we're gonna complete this DLC. First thing, we're gonna talk to Blacksmith. Uh, make a medal, and then uh, make a word stone. Let's see, I need cracked load stone. Oh, I'm gonna lack one crystal. Okay, then mind. Go on now. We need those because they give the extra movement speed, but I don't have them. That's not the end of the world. We did the trial. And now we got a report. And we're told that we have to join a cult, one of them, and help them with the things. We're gonna join, we're gonna join Cult of Bismil. Because they have best augments and also best quests. So I'm gonna pick two of these. Uh, Right, and I almost forgot, but we gotta do a little respec. 
We don't need skeletons anymore. Now, I put second movement ability, and for now i chosen one that's identical to Blitz. That's because hmm, we can actually cancel uh, the medal abilities uh, halfway through by just unequipping the medal. And it's gonna be useful in the second and third Shadow Strike skip in this act. So while we're here, let's get more points here. I think I need a little more earth specking. Yeah. I'm gonna need to do just a little more earth specking. That skill's not ready. So I wanna pick this second ability of Blitz. Yeah. Actually, points here. And the reason for it, it now hits not only in front but also in back. I blitz. I can't do that yet. Making it very useful for dealing with groups. Just a bit late, but it'll be still fine as long as the crystal there is not destroyed. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> right. Let's try that again. A map, scroll. Here we go. And the reason why I used uh, medal ability is this <coughs> particular skip can sometimes go long and then I need to cancel it before it goes into dead end. That skill's not ready. We got a short one so no, no big deal. Alrighty, so the first task we have to do for Cult of Dismal is find uh, three pieces of Watcher's Blood, which can be obtained from statues in the next area. See, we're almost there. Yes, I'm level 13, so I can use the boots now. Have some more movement speed. Yeah, previously we actually were using Necromancer's pets for... And I used strong ability. <laughs> anyway, I was meant to use the uh, medal ability here, so I can cancel, because I drop waypoint on the way. So I can warp from here there, but now I got a... Uh... Actually, since I got warped so back... Oh, so ahead. I might as well go ahead to the next waypoint. Well, that's all I really wanted. The, the vanish ability. Now I'm gonna switch to leap, which that's can be used to without a target, so we got a, a bit more mobility. Just a little bit. Can't 
do that yet. Okay. And here's a statue we have to defeat for the Blood of the Watchers. It's one piece. And for the second piece we're gonna go to Caravan Dogs from the other side. Okay, as I said, in the past we actually were using Necromancer for this, even more. We are using his other pet, Blight, mm, Blight Golem? I actually forgot what name. Blight Finn. Which is... Actually pretty good, but... Uh, because the bosses are tougher now, he actually is not as good anymore. And now, because he dies too quick. Now I'm actually gonna quit out because it will position me back in town closer to the mm, quest giver. Alain. Hey. Now we're gonna do reverse shadow strike skip to skip this whole place. So the difference between the two is that. Reverse is starting from the waypoint, and there are training dummies right there. And also this one is pretty tight, so let's see, did I get it? First try, baby, let's go! Our job here is to defeat this monster city. Wow, wow, wow. Got his car. Let's move out. Well, I believe. Hey, we got everything we needed here. Now we can move ahead. Oh wait, I already got to this one. On this we don't do a shadow strike skip because right next to it is a cave that we have to go through. That skill is not ready. Oh, there's not really anything to... Like here. Okay, now we're gonna move to our forward camp of the Colts, the vanguard of the three. That skill's not ready. Okay, we're almost here, and there we go, Vanguard of the Free. Report the Bacilla. Now time for another Shadow Strike skip. Oh! Really? I didn't mar mark the waypoint in the vanguard. It was almost disastrous. I didn't even know you can do it. I literally just walked next to it and it didn't tug. Okay. This is gonna be the last uh, uh, Shadow Strike skip for a moment, because next ones are gonna be in the final dungeon. For now, our new quest is to go to this tomb and defeat the Guardians, and activate the altar to summon 
a demon to our side. But yeah, Gion is pretty straightforward. Straight hand to the left. Oh, a lot of left. Okay, and here's the boss. Let's aggro his subordinates too. Hmm, the third one. Doesn't wanna come close. Okay. On is down. These two. And there you go. I can't do that yet. Okay, and now, as I said, no Shadow Strike skips until final dungeon, so we just go to walk. Shoot those gloves a bit I can't do that yet. Do it else in the ground. Infernal ways, so we're getting closer. Actually, wait, I almost forgot. I have to report to the Basilla, otherwise, I won't be able to progress with the quest to the final dungeon. Right. Now we can proceed. Avoided those molten claws. And we head further to the lava. I can't do that yet. of the Corvan city, so we're getting close. Needs to go through this gate. And this is basically the final straight for the dungeon. Here, here. Waypoint here for safety. I do not know. And here we have for some reason Necromancer Dravis and his father Uroboruk. <laughs> it's a bit annoying and I actually got stronger in recent patch because they introduced a new mechanic called Thunder. And those gazers he's summoning. And inflict thunder, making you take way more damage. Okay. We defeated the guy, but there's still the guardian of the tomb, Stewart, we have to take care of.
So somewhere is this skeleton crossbowman that Dravis summoned. I mean that it still persists even after Dravis is dead. Oh, also I can use this better weapon now. Okay, and for another Shadow Strike skip. This one also is better with the medal skill because you can cancel not going in this corner, but it's not as bad. Oh, it's a boss, mini boss rather. Blue one that we don't have to deal with. Okay, here we can do a reverse Shadow Strike skip to skip some, but this one doesn't save that much time and I find it really random, not working half of the time. So I'm just gonna skip it. Time for my least favorite boss in the game, Father Kaimon. He was a paladin, but was deceived by the evil god Korvac. Now we have to take care of him. He's annoying because he summons those geysers and also does this vomit attack, which deals a lot of damage. Let's remove this. So now we just gotta dispel the barrier. And the last shadow strike skip. And just for fun, let's do it from a different location. Because we can also do it from here. Just go here. The evil god that we have to take care of is taunting us, but we're not gonna back down. Gonna move on. Okay, gotta drop a portal before the boss arena in case something happens. But luckily he's in chains, so he's not that hard. Easy peasy, right? Well, not exactly. Hey, okay. he has a bunch of attacks. My least favorite is that spiral, because if I won't move out of the center, it can hurt. And do I have any ectoplasm? Oh, I do not. A bummer. Really no ectoplasm? Well. Uh, let's put points into spirit then. I need more energy. I don't have a good energy recovery, which is a problem. Okay, that's phase one. Now he's getting mad. And also he's gonna be start summoning minions now. 
a problem. Well, it's not exactly a problem, but because they're very weak, but I have problem with bosses that summon minions that I keep getting distracted by them. You can see the minions are not a problem. Okay, now phase three is getting real mad. There's gonna be a lot of sparks, and also he has now full combo attack. Let's be careful. Oops, I died. That's why I dropped a waypoint before the boss arena, so I can just hop right back in. Like this. I didn't get throughout the whole run any rings. Usually doesn't happen. A full combo. Wonderful combo. Meteors. Okay. Yes. Less and less HP. Okay, about former blitzes. Okay. Okay, and it's done. And with that, run is finished too. That wasn't too bad. Let's see if we get anything interesting for him. Probably not, but... Oh uh, yeah, nothing really worthwhile. But let's quickly check uh, quest reward unique item, because we might get something interesting. Maybe not. Lightning curled. So one thing that sometimes you can get are you know, soiled trousers. Yes, there's, sorry, there's such item in this game. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the run because you're gonna see me more tomorrow with Wizardry and Dark Arms Beast Buster. For now though, I hope you all enjoyed the rest of the Erpaton. Thank you.